so yeah, this uh, this is a pretty interesting design, um, and totally a attainable in Illustrator. Uh, you'll have to bear with me. I'm kind of biting off a of code here. Um, I, I tested it earlier, and it works just fine. I've already got a few colors here picked out. Essentially, what you want to do is grab your um, let's break open the key pose here, get that running. Grab your uh, eyedropper tool and pick out like the most intense colors. Grab those and just start throwing those in your palette, and we'll make gradients out of those. The rest is just creating some circles. So, kind of scale this to size. I'm gonna put one here and here, and uh, you'll need a lot more than this just to kind of fill out the shape. But the uh, the concept's the same no matter how many circles you have. So let's start down here. I'll make a gradient, and you can see I've already got the color. So it's this intense orange and this really light ivory, and I'm just gonna kind of rotate this to fit in the same general look as the the image behind it. I'll create another here. I think it's this one and this one maybe and maybe no yeah there we go so we'll rotate that again we'll get that kind of close to to what we're aiming for and the same thing over here except with the purples and the rest is just choosing the blend tool so normally which what what I do is go to object, blend, and then make. But in a case like this where you have multiple objects, you just come over and choose the actual blend tool. Select one, two, three. And you're pretty much there. So let's go and set this way, way down. We'll, we'll say like five. Because all we want to do is not crush the computer just yet, but get a hold of these nodes and see the shape that we're going to create from the uh, the Bezier curves that we're going to do. So if you come up here, select uh, convert selected anchor points to smooth, it'll give you a Bezier handle for each one of these points. And you can go in and start to shape this. And essentially all this is, it's just kind of pulled really odd to make it look like it has depth. And this one just rotates out around there, flows back around, and then that's not too bad. So then now we'll go back and uh, adjust our blend options. We'll set that back up to 100. If you don't have a decent computer, you're going to have a hard time, but you should be able to get through the general setup, set that to 100, and then hopefully save or export. And there you go. You end up uh, with exactly that same kind of design. So in the original, it looked like it had a couple different layers going on. You had this main layer that started from the blue around to the purple, to the ivory, back to purple yellow. So maybe this kind of comes up and does one of those. So you might be able to pull this off entirely with uh, one full shape. It's just a matter of layering those objects in the blend and setting your Bezier handles to uh, kind of accommodate that uh, that shape. But essentially all we have is three circles and a line, and Illustrator does the rest of the work for us. So good luck. Hope that helps.